Okay, my friends. Um, it's Wednesday. So let, let's start this class. Um, working on. Giving instructions and practice. So um, I want to know how many participants are connected. So I'm going to ask uh, if you are there, just say hi, hello. Okay, right, Eduardo? Yes, are you there, right? Yes, teacher. That's perfect, yeah. I want to confirm that. Thank you, Eduardo. What about Daniel? Okay. Hi, teacher, I'm here. Perfect, Daniel, thank you for answering. Uh, John, well, John is listener, I guess. Maybe he's kind of busy. If not, we go with David. Hi, David. Hello, good evening. Good evening, okay, thank you for answering. We have also Oscar. Oscar Daniel, are you there? Hello, teacher. Okay, thank you yeah, for yeah. answering. Okay, you're there, thank you. Uh, what about Evelyn? Yes, as well, Evelyn is there, right? Yeah, perfect. Mm, let's see, here we have some listeners, uh, for example, Susie, Kathy, Adi, and Rosalita, they are going to be with us later, see, as the same as uh, John. Okay, uh, given instructions, Practice, this is the topic of tonight. This is the class number nine, class number nine. Tomorrow we're going to finish the second unit. It means that you should have finished unit two and the midterm, ¿verdad? Para mañana deben de haber terminado las eh, tareas de la unidad dos y el midterm. Okay. So before we start, I would like to hear some of your comments. Se lo about... cortado, teacher. Permítame. Okay, and now, y ahora, ya se escucha mejor. Ahora sí. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay, thank you. Gracias. A veces la señal es un poquito inestable. Well. It is like this. Está así. Write one rule in your company. Quiero que me escriban en el chat una regla en la compañía, de la compañía. Por ejemplo, we can say, for example, um, wear uniform or don't eat uh, during working hours. There are different rules. I need you just to write one. And uh, please uh, write it in the chat. Okay. One of the rules that you have, uh, maybe uh, you can mention social media, check your cell phone, or have uh, maybe you are not permitted or you don't have permission to have phone, call, phone calls with your friends or family and some other aspects. Remember that in every company, um, they have different rules. There are some of them are similar, some of them are not. I need you to write uh, rules. Escríbame una regla de su compañía.
Okay, let's listen to some of your answers. Here we have uh, some examples. What about... Um, Eduardo, what about yours? Could you read your uh, the rule that you texted? The rule what I texted is assist to the meetings presential. Presentially, okay, yeah. Uh, you are not permitted, no estás permitido to be like in, in video call, like in this class, for example, right? No, like so. no, no. The, we, we have uh, meetings uh, online every day, but the Monday, oh. every every Monday we have the meeting presential. Okay, thank you. Um, there is something that is called like this. Uh, sugiero que anoten esta palabra. The, that, uh, it's mandatory. Eso es obligación. Es obligatorio. Mandatory. So, in your case, Eduardo, it is mandatory. Okay, thank you. And what about Daniel? What is the rule that you texted? It's simple. Uh, arrive error. Okay, do you have problems with that? Have you ever had difficulties with uh, arriving early? No. Every day oh, right. I arrive at six, 16 minutes be antes, antes, before. 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 Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Thank you. Uh, we have David. Uh, please, David, what about your rules? Hello, teacher. Uh, in my in my work, uh, respect the arrival times. Don't be late for work. Okay. Don't be late. It is like no excuses. Even sometimes we have some accidents. We have traffic jams, a lot of things, but uh, don't be late. Thank you. Okay, Adi okay. says uh, we have a break of 15 minutes. Okay, Adi, thank you. I don't know if you have break, but uh, usually it is common to have 15 minute break. The, but the problem is that when somebody takes more than that time, okay. Oscar, uh, please, could you read yours? My Thank you. <clears throat> yes, submit is a synonym of send, enviar. So practically every month you have to submit uh, a report, right? And yeah, it is like uh, mandatory. Thank you, Maritza. Hello, Maritza. Hello. Okay. Uh, arrive on time. Okay, arrive on time. Have you ever had difficulties? Uh, no. 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 I arrived at 7 yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. It is better. Even uh, if you have some other time to drink coffee or something like that, right? But it's better to be... Breakfast, yes. Yeah, or, or to have breakfast, of course. Thank you, Maritza. And Evelyn? Uh, it is not allowed to enter without uh, argument. Okay. Um, well, it is really important to, well, the security, it is important to follow the rules. Uh, we were saying uh, yesterday that uh, because of the security, right? So, it is like very interesting how, um, uh, as you said, hernet is redesia, uh, right? So in your case, Evelyn, you work with food, right? Or something like that? Yeah? 
No. Yes. Okay, so that's why it is mandatory. If you notice in all the restaurants, well, in the past that was not so common, but nowadays it is mandatory to have hairnet. Yeah, that's it. Maybe we can have, Gustavo, what about you? Do you have yours? Hello, teacher. Hello there. Uh, I really want my, my company is to, to give it good customer service. Okay, yeah, that's nice. And remember when, and that's complicated, when some customers complain, cuando ellos se quejan, and sometimes we don't have, we are not guilty, okay? Uh, guilty, culpable, okay? Or blame, culpa. Maybe uh, we are not the guilty, we are not the cause of the problem, but yeah, actually they complain. And th that is when we have like, uh, we receive a call of attention. Right, well, thank you. Guillermo, good evening, my friend. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Sorry for being late here. No problem. Hey, new look. I can see that you have a new hairstyle. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Me peine, me peine. <laughs> no, come on. It is good to have like a different style, of course. Okay, and Guillermo, we are talking about rules in the company. Could you mention one rule that comes to your mind? Something that maybe mm. it is common. It is not that complicated. We, we can eat in our position in your desk you can't or you, you can't we we can't okay we can't you eat can't. okay yeah and that's um uh, besides it is informal maybe because of the computer or, or some other uh, equipment and I, uh, it is yes it's for the computer it's for the computer right the keyboard and all those things well Maybe you are not going to have problems, but there are some other that they have spelled uh, like food or the coffee, the, the cup, uh, a lot of problems. It is not that all the employees are going to do that, but yeah, accidents happen. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Okay, here we have language telephone or telephone language that is finishing a conversation. Here we have the first uh, option. Well, I guess I better get going. Talk to you soon. Thanks for calling. Bye for now. I have to let you go now. I have another call more. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I have another call coming through. I better run. I'm afraid that's my other line. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Well, I'm going to something that is I better when you say this. I cuando dice bueno, eh, supongo que mejor me voy. Entonces cuando yo digo I better, yo mejor hago tal cosa. I better run, yo mejor corro. So I better when you say better, you refer to that. Okay. I'm going to call you one by one because I need to um, check the attendance list. So please say uh, hi, hello, good evening in one of these phrases in order to, well, to check you in the list. Okay, and Adi, I guess it's, it's like listener, right? So Christy, I don't know if Christy is there. If not, Luisa, I don't know, Andre, I don't know if Andre can. Okay, hello, Andre. Okay, uh, Rivas, I don't know if Rivas is there. Okay, not Rivas for the moment. We go with Daniel. Hi, I am here. I Thank have you. to let you go now. Okay, perfect. Uh, David? Hello, te Hello teacher. I'm Hello. afraid 
that my other line. Thank you. Yes, Andre, hello. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I were going back to your song. Thank you, Andre. Very nice. Okay, we go now with Evelyn. Okay, maybe Evelyn is not available. No te escucho, Evelyn. Okay. Well, I leave. I better get going. Talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, Guillermo. Okay, maybe Guillermo by now is not available, but he's going to appear later. Uh, John, I guess, is listener. Okay, Katia, I guess, is listener. Okay, uh, come on, Maritza. Yes, yes right, Maritza. Thank you. I talk to you again soon. Bye. Okay, perfect. Uh, Gustavo? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank for calling by, by for now. Okay, good. Thank you. Oscar? Hi, teacher. I have another call coming through. I better run. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we go with uh, Eduardo. Yes, right, Eduardo, you are there. I remember. Did you? I say, I say the last one. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you, Oscar Daniel. Well, well, Rosalie and Susie. Okay. Let's move in. Uh, this is uh, part of the first activity when they were asking, can you notice here, what are some rules in your company? Do you think it is important to follow the rules? Yes. Why? Yes, no, why? Okay. You tell me if you don't agree. Díganme quién no esté de acuerdo con alguna regla with some rules. Remember that in the company you have some rules. If you don't agree, please thumb down. Pulgar abajo. If you don't agree with some rule, okay. But if you agree with all the rules, yeah, thumb up. Si están de acuerdo con todas las reglas, no problem. You thumb up. That's it. Okay. Remember that maybe we don't share the same opinion, right? We don't share some some opinions about some rules. Because the supervisors, managers, maybe they don't, they are not in our position, right? Well, here we have Guillermo and Daniel. Could you mention one? Do, do you have something in mind, Guillermo? Because in my case, in, in my job, yeah, I, I don't agree <laughs> with some of the rules, but okay. Um, I think one rule that I hate is to... is to have a, a lot of patience with the client when they don't have the the reason and when they are yelling for um, stupid things i don't yeah. know yeah yeah they are arguing they are yelling they are repeating the same things they are rude to you and you have to be like uh, like what like the the same temperament, same character, yes. be polite. I mean, I, I have a lot of patience, but uh, sometimes is, I don't know, there it's are like persons that... You, you, you mean that there are some limits? Yes. But, and inside the rules, there should be like, if the customer trespasses that limit, that's another area 
or that's another step to follow, right? No, just to... Sí, porque ellos piensan que el cliente siempre tiene la razón y no siempre es así, pues. Yes, of course, I agree. I totally agree. Thank you. And that's why customers take advantage of that. The, the, the customers always have reason. No, it, it is not. It's not like that. Daniel, do you have some some rule or any rule that you want to share about if you don't agree? I don't agree. I don't agree that they they close the door 15 minutes before me entry time. Really? Okay, what, what really, is the, what really, is the it, time that the the, end, everybody... And open, and, and, and open the door six minutes after to entry. entry. Okay. Six minutes después de que me uh, toca uh, entrar. Uh, after. after. Sí, okay. after. Después so, de... Si es tarde. Okay, um... So it means that they are raro. taking, yes, it is strange. They are taking your time, right? Yes. 15 minutes antes de entrar, cierra Before, la puerta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Si llego, antes, si, llego, si llego, si llego, si no llego antes de esos 15 minutos, la cierran. Okay, okay. Y la abren six minutes. Okay, let's imagine, <laughs> let's imagine that 8 o'clock a.m. is the time that you have to be in your company. It's, it's a, it's a uh, hypothetic. Seven, but uh, they, uh, they close the door 7.45 a.m. Yeah. And yeah. if you arrive at 754 they the the door is closed sí. and you yeah. have to enter eight and six is that yeah wow, come sí. on yeah i guess it's not fair yeah no no es justo i i agree if they close the door at eight right because it's at eight but if they close the door at 15 minutes before antes yeah, it's kind of weird. Está un poquito extraño eso. Okay, thank you for sharing. I guess that's like a different rule, uh, but it happens. Okay, um, here we have a conversation between Sandra and Mr. Sea. Okay. Conversation says, good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught mocking inside the company. And it is not allowed. When I said it is or it is, it is not allowed. I understand he knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You're right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in working hours. So when you say allowed, allow, it's a synonym of permit. And permit is permitir, allow, permitir. They are synonyms, okay? So um, I consider that here we have some words that we need to pay attention. Maybe, yeah, I guess. Okay, so procedures, procedures, procedure. As cut, cut. Como que se fuera una O y una T, cut. Okay, he was cut smoking. Fue atrapado fumando. Fue captado fumando. Okay, and this person also 
it is not allowed to sleep in workouts. I guess this poor person was sleeping, lo encontraron durmiendo. And also, it is not allowed to use the cell phone in workouts. Work hours. So it means that there are three rules that this person didn't, uh, well, didn't pay attention. He, he failed. So we're going to have a short practice. I would like you to have a screenshot. Maybe Maritza can help us. I would appreciate that. Yeah, thank you, Maritza, as always. Thank you. Thank you, my dear friend. Okay, so we're going to practice this. Um, I don't know if you have experience um, to be fired. Ser despedido. I don't know. It is not a good sense. Sometimes it's, it is not fair. A veces como que no es muy justo. It is not fair. But definitely it is part of the it's part of the experience. And well, I hope you can you can have an opinion about this, okay? Okay, see you in a moment, my friends. Then we're going to come back and practice this in groups. So remember to, to interchange uh, dialogues. Okay, I will need Eduardo. Maybe you could accept uh, the request. Thank you.
Okay, so let's uh, focus on this conversation. Remember that we have noticed three rules in here. Maybe we can have the first participation of Evelyn. Evelyn, who was your classmate? Your partner? Yeah. Oscar, yeah. right? Oh, Luisa. Sí, sí. Luisa. Um, Luisa, okay. Uh, Luisa and Evelyn, could you practice this for us? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um. Good. Good morning. New employer. Will he cannot continue with us? I see. It's because of what happened. Yes, uh, yes, it was caught smoking inside the company and did not follow it. I understand him the value of company so there is no excuse and also is it is not allowed to sleep in your house. You are right, it is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, in work hours. Yeah, that's it. Can't do it. And thank you very much, Evelyn and Luisa. And here we have this. So, three simple rules. And here we have some questions. What are some rules in Sandra's company? Let's notice here. Okay. Um, one of some of the rules, maybe Daniel can mention one. One of the three rules that appear in here in this conversation. The number one, he was smoking inside okay. the company. Yeah, this person uh, was caught smoking. So the rule is no smoking, right? Thank you. No smoking. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I guess in all the companies, it is not allowed. Uh, thank you, Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo, I guess. Yes. yes uh, uh, could you mention some other rule? Um, it is also not allowed uh, to use the cell phone yeah. in work hours. Work hours. Even there are some uh, type of jobs that require the use of cell phone, but for that reason, sometimes the company gives a, a cell phone, right? I don't know, I guess, yeah? Yes, I remember the, um, the last year, um, I was part of uh, a department that for the process that we, we made inside of the company, they give to us um, a cell phone. Was that but positive or negative for you? It's positive because we have a um, contact with the uh, with the CEO. Uh, I mean, of the company. Yes. This uh, is looking for the the solution of some clients because they have um like a status hmm? in the company yeah. in in the airline well that's nice yeah for that's example level. If, if they they have like a diamond status mm -hmm. or gold okay so there Son are some levels yeah, diamante, yeah or, or oro, como lo más preciado para ellos is, is the top. 
Okay, so yeah, that was the positive, that, that something that was good. Okay. Did you have some negative aspects? Did you perceive negative aspects because of that? Because having a cell phone from the company? Okay, I guess, I don't know if, okay. I guess Guillermo maybe have difficulties or maybe me. Well, here we have number two. What is the problem with the new employee? Let's ask to maybe Maritza can tell us, what is the problem with this employee? Because he was here... caught smoking inside the company. Okay, that, that is the main problem, right? It is like we have three rules. No smoking, no, don't use cell phone, mm -hmm. no That's sleeping. It. But smoking maybe is the worst, okay? So he didn't uh, mm -hmm. follow instructions, right? Thank you very much, mm -hmm. uh, Maritza. Okay, and uh, here we have this, uh, the, the first uh, speaking activity. At what age? Should people be allowed to vote, drink alcohol, drive cards, and others? Um, this is very common here in El Salvador when you are, when you turn 18. You are 17 and all, all of these are not legal. Well, driving cars, maybe because there are some license for teens, for teenagers, but a uh, 17 old person, boy or girl can't drink alcohol that person can't vote on elections so what do you think what is the ideal age for this person for this young to have more responsibilities or to have access to drinking alcohol drive cars or vote okay for this maybe we can start with some of you you tell me what's your opinion about this Maybe we can start with David and then Gustavo. David, what do you think? It is okay, 18 years old, or maybe 17 years old, or maybe 19, okay. 20, I don't know. Okay, in my, in my opinion, teacher, uh, my opinion, people show why until they are of legal age to drink alcohol, alcohol dry cars, and boats, uh, that is at least 18 years of, of okay. age. Okay. So you consider that 18 years old, it's it's good. It's acceptable, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to Gustavo and then we go with Christy. Okay, Gustavo. Okay, teacher. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it, it seemed good to me. Uh, eight, uh, eight, eight, uh, 18 years old. 18, uh -huh. 18 years old. Okay, you you agree with, with David that 18 years old, it's okay? Yes, thank you. Yeah, we have two two participants that agree. Uh, Christy and then Daniel. Okay, Christy. Are you there? Do you consider, Christy, that 18 years old, it's okay for a person? Okay, Ana Cristina, I guess maybe not ready. She's not ready. Okay, uh, Daniel, and then we go with Guillermo. About this, I consider when they have 21 years old. When they are 21, yeah. You consider that with a 21 years old, a person can take better decisions. Maybe it could be more mature, right? Mas maduro, yeah, could it be, yeah. Thank you, Daniel, for your opinion. Uh, Guillermo, and then we go with Eduardo. Okay, Guillermo. Okay. I think uh, 20, 21 years old is okay. Okay. 21 years old, a person with 
this age could have or could take better decisions, right? Related to yes, you know, alcohol, driving cars. Well, yeah, good age. Thank you. And what about if we listen to Eduardo? Are you there, Eduardo? Okay, maybe. Yes, I'm here. Yes, okay, my friend, you tell I me. Think, uh, I think the the, G, the age is 21. 21 is it, it's good for you, right? Okay. Yes, yes, it's, it's the, okay. Best, the best age. Okay, to start this uh, kind of, well, taking these decisions, right? Yes, okay, yes. perfect. Perfect, Eduardo. Okay, and let's continue with this. Well, here we have uh, the use of how to use it's not allowed. Okay, and here we have use it's not allowed to talk about prohibitions that we have in a particular place. Okay, and let's listen to some of you. I need you to read one by one. We're going to start this case with Gustavo. Please, Gustavo, I need you to read this one. That's number one. And then we go with um, Luisa. Okay, Gustavo, could you read that, please? Okay, maybe Gustavo can okay, hear. Teacher, uh, Please. Sí, uh, ¿Cómo fue? Me levanté a tomar agua. Ah, solo leerlo. Read this. Okay. Uh, it is not a lawyer to a sm a smoking, smoking inside the facilities. Facilities, thank you. Facilities significa instalaciones. Pueden anotarlo si gustan. Sé que parece facilidades, but no, uh, facilities son instalaciones de la compañía, right? Okay, thank you, uh, Luisa, and then Evelyn. Luisa can help us, please, with number two. Okay, teacher, um, is, it is not allowed to say to home. Thank you. Uh, yeah, imagine you are working with tools, you can't take those tools home and bring them back later. Come on. Uh, you can have problems with, with that. Okay, Evelyn. And after Evelyn, we're going to listen to Christy. Beverages. Mm -hmm. Beverages, okay. Uh, cuando tenemos acá beverages, it's similar. Esto es similar a drinks, bebidas, drinks, okay. So, well, that's it. Thank you. Um, we're going to listen. Um, Christy, are you there? No sé si Christy está por ahí. Okay. Um, let's listen maybe to Daniel. Please, Daniel, this one. What? What number? Uh, this, number four. It is not allowed to use cell phones. Thank you. Okay, Guillermo, please help me with this. Okay. Um, is it is not allowed to sleep in working hours? Thank you. And please, Gustavo, help me with the last one. Uh, okay, TJ. It is not allowed to room in any. Ariam of the company. The company, thank you. Okay, yeah. Well, here we have the word. 
se pronuncia así. Aloud. ¿Ok? Aloud. And when we have... This is not allowed. ¿Verdad? No está permitido. We're going to practice. Vamos a practicar con respecto a esta frase. And here we have this. Write a six-line paragraph about the rules and provisions of your workplace. Use it. It is not allowed to. Okay. I know you tell me one rule, but I need you now to tell me two rules in your company. Okay. For example, in the, in the company, it's not allowed to, it's not allowed to drink alcohol. Okay, think about uh, the rules in your company. Piensen en las reglas de su compañía, son bastantes. I know that there are a lot. A lot. But in this case, we're going to use it is not allowed. No está permitido. No está permitido que. What is not allowed? What is not permitted? Okay. So I need to text it and we're going to make a list in this. Uh, taking into account all of your, all of the rules that you are, that you're going to write. Todas las reglas que ustedes van a poner. Aquí la voy a ir anotando. Okay. I need to write two. Please, to, utilizando eso, it is not allowed to, y ahí, con el verbo, que no está permitido, ok, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds.
Well, let's listen and let's read some of your rules. Okay. What do we have here? We're going to start with Sorry. Just give me a second. Deme un momento. Creo que tengo problemas con la señal. Ok, una consulta. Guillermo, ¿puedes escucharme? Yeah, can you listen to me? Sure. Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you. Thank you. The chat is not working for me. Yeah, I have it here. No. Well, we're going to have this. And I know you have seen. Okay, we're going to make like a uh, Let's see who else. Okay, Daniel, share some of that. Nice. If you notice, uh, we have some rules that are quite similar. In some of you, maybe there is a very small change. Okay. Finally, we have the complete list. Okay, that, that's another. Okay, look, uh, here I have more, but okay, uh, it is not allowed it during working hours. Mm -hmm. Smoking inside the facilities to be late. It's not allowed to enter with the cell phone personal use. Yeah, the report smoking is not allowed to drink and not smoke use. Okay. It is not allowed to see movies in your in your laptop. I guess that's a meme. Como un meme that related to Netflix. Thank you. We now uh, are like sure about the rules in your company. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Now, let's move here. At what age should people both drink alcohol, drive? Let's listen to mothers. Uh, Participation in this case, maybe Maritza. Maritza and then Oscar Daniel. Okay, Maritza. Um, I think 21 years old. 21 as well. Okay, yeah. Remember that because of the things that we have seen of uh, teenagers 
or young young people uh, taking bad decisions at 18. That's why we, we think maybe some other age. Um, let's listen this Oscar, Daniel, and then Eduardo. Okay, Oscar, Daniel. Okay, teacher. Este, um, I think uh, the people be allowed to bath and drink alcohol is uh, 21. Mm -hmm. And and for for dry cars, uh, eighteen it's okay. Eighteen is okay. Yeah. Well, very interesting uh, division. Good uh, because uh, there are some some young people that they want to work. So that's it. Thank you. Yeah, drinking alcohol or voting maybe could be. Yeah, with some other age. Thank you. Okay, we'll go with responsibility. Yeah, because of that, uh, more responsibility. Uh, and dry cars is uh, because uh, for emerg emergency. Emergency. Mm -hmm. Emergency. Oh, they have to move. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. Thank you for for detailing. Uh, Eduardo, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. What's your opinion uh, about this? What age? I think the 21 years. 21, okay. Yes. Yes, similar, right? Thank you. Daniel, okay. you tell me 21 or 18, it's okay. I don't remember. Uh, 21, it's okay to... To, to drink alcohol and and drive cars, it's okay. Eighteen. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, imagine here we have this aspect. Uh, besides this, after uh after eighteen, you can ask for loans, pedir préstamos, get married, casarse. Um, to have some other legal aspects, and that's okay. But mm, here in El Salvador, eighteen is for everything. Yes, Daniel, tell me. I think that in the different country it is legal. Legal. Twenty one. Yep. It's legal. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, as you mentioned, for some other countries, uh, when youngs uh, turn to 21, yeah, they have access to all of this. But here in the Salvador is 18. Okay. Um, thank you. And here we have some other parts. Okay, Luisa, hello. Okay, teacher. Uh, 21 years old because of the end. One reason more um, see the good and bad of our attitude one or has more responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, I agree. So de acuerdo. When you are 18 and you are 21, it is like the ad attitude is different. Uh, it is very common that young people take decisions based on emotions, based or some other, yeah, uh, outside aspects, and that's why they they take bad decisions. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's see if it is the time for the song. Tenemos eh, pues el momento para la canción. Y tenemos acá, creo que David, a ti te toca, ¿verdad, David? Ok, no problem. 
Take your time. Te voy a dar aquí los permisos para que compartas. Okay, teacher. Hey, very nice. Teacher, para compartir me voy a conectar este, en la reunión, en la compu también. Ah, seguro, vaya. Muy bien, te esperamos. Ahorita voy a hablar. No hay problema, David, te esperamos. Yo puedo ver, teacher. Yes, we can see. Podemos ver. Ok. Eh, good evening, everyone. Eh, next show of you, you the fragment of the song that I choose. Eh, two paragraphs. Eh, dice, close your eyes, give me your hand. Do you feel my heart beating? Do you understand? Do you feel the same? And I'm only dreaming. Is this burning an eternal flame? I believe it's meant to be. I watch you when you are sleeping. You belong with me. Do you feel the same? And I'm only dreaming? Or in this burning an eternal flame? Uh, the song contains grammatical five words. Okay. Uh, grammatical five words. Uh, present tense sentence. For example, close your eyes. Give me your hand. Do you understand? You belong with me. Do you feel the same? Uh, um, grammatical figures uh, present continuous tense. For example, uh, do you feel my heart beating and I'm only dreaming? I watch you when you are sleeping. Okay. Uh, such a pronoun, uh, you and I. For example, do you feel my heart beating? Do you understand? Do you feel the same? Am I only dreaming? Uh, I believe I watch you when you when you are sleeping, you below. Do you feel the same? And am I only dreaming? Uh, grammatical five words, object pronouns, and possessive adjective. Uh, for example, your, me, your, my, you, and me. Mm. Okay. Only teacher. Okay, wow. <laughs> Only that. Uh, well, here we have the song. Very well explained, David. Um, does anybody know this song? I know. I, I remember this song, but I don't know the name. And I don't know the, the person because it, it's a singer. Uh, okay, participants, you tell me, do you know the name of this song or do you know the name of the singer? Nobody, okay. The, the uh, song is Turner Flame Thing. Okay, yes, Eternal Flame, yeah. Uh, thank you, Eduardo. That, that that that's the name. And what about the singer, Eduardo? Do you know it? Uh, if I don't be wrong, 
is the name of the girl is uh, ah, the, the 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 same what the song the name of the other song of she's uh, the girls who wanna who wanna be uh, I don't remember. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it's like kind of, well, different, but uh, for the others to, to have an idea. Thank you, Eduardo. Uh, it's close your eyes, give me your hand, right? Uh, that's the, the, the intro of the, this song. David, could you say the name of, of this girl? The name of the artist? Uh, yes, teacher. The name, name of the song, Eternal Day. Oh. The Bangles. The Bangles is not a girl, it's a, it's a band, okay. But it, it yeah, it's like from 80s, the Los Ochentas, right? But yes, I guess. The Eternal Flames. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, congratulations, David. You did a very, but a very complete description of the figures of grammar and all the words. Thank you. Thank you for your time, for your effort. I know all of you have uh, have used your time from your work, from your free time. The, the rest of, of participants who show the, the, the song, thank you. And for you, uh, David, as well. So very nice. For this, maybe we can have for tomorrow. Evelyn, podría presentar la canción mañana claro, teacher. mañana thank you thank you very much select one song that you consider you like it and what let's continue okay uh, thank you now let's move with some other part here we have an exercise for you let me show you okay here i have a work Shit for you it is like this well um here we have two verbs look at this these verbs are able or allowed okay i'm going to show it able to allowed to okay so I uh, I present this uh, grammar point because we may have like some confusion related to what are we referring to? ¿A qué nos referimos? Do we refer to ability or do we refer to permission? Okay. So in this case, uh, it, it is used uh, verb B or personal pronouns. Okay. And for allowed, the same verb be and personal pronouns. But um, here we have the first example. Look at this example about able. Able significa capaz. Able, able, capaz. ¿Verdad? Y en el caso de allowed significa permitir o permitido. Okay. So look at this. He can swim. He isn't able to swim. I am not able to swim. Okay, entonces decimos, él no puede nadar. Él no es eh, capaz de nadar. Y las, la última sería, uh, yo soy capaz de nadar o yo no soy capaz de, de nadar. Okay, la última del I, eso va a depender de ustedes. Okay, vamos con allowed. Vamos con allowed, dice he can ride a moat. He's uh, he is allowed to ride a moat. I am not allowed to ride a moat. Okay. So in this case, um, cuando utilizamos el allowed, in this case, lo utilizamos también de manera positiva. Okay. Entonces sí tenemos otra variedad porque sí la estábamos este la estábamos utilizando con las reglas, verdad? Cuando hablamos de moat nos referimos a pues como a una motocicleta es un ciclomotor es como una moto so he can ride a moto puede montar una motocicleta 
eh, he's allowed, ¿verdad? Él, es, él está permitido, ¿verdad? Para montar una motocicleta. La última, I am not. Yo no estoy, ¿ok? Eh, aquí, de hecho, aquí aparece la imagen de la motocicleta, ¿ok? Here we have the, the other verbs. Tenemos otros verbos. Cook, tenemos el verbo cook. Tenemos ski, here's the picture. Here we have read, here's the picture. Here we have ride, ride horse. Here we have the picture. The other boat, uh, as we were saying, when we are 18, we can boat. Leave school, okay, when you uh, go home, you say bye to, to school. Uh, drink, alcohol, there's some other topic that we were talking, and the other is smoke, okay? So I need you to have this as a screenshot so you can work this in pairs. Pueden trabajar eso en equipos. Maybe Maritza can help us sending this image. Si necesitan que le haga zoom a la imagen, me avise, please. Okay, let's see if we don't have a problem with this. You know, the most soon. Yeah, I guess you can see it. Creo que sí la, la podemos ver. Okay, I'm going to give you like eight minutes. Le doy como ocho, well, ocho minutos. Maybe with eight minutes we can finish this. Or less, seven minutes, okay? So, see you in a moment, my friends. Please, uh, work in pairs. Solve of this exercise here. There you have the example. Okay, so please accept the, the request. I need you to accept the request and see you in a moment. Okay, maybe Christy, Luisa. Okay, Christy, if you could accept, please.
for ability information. I don't know if Andre is is just a listener. Well, in this case, I know that Kathy, Rosalie, Johnny, Andre is uh well your listeners. In the case you want to participate, just let me know because here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Teacher, uh, have eight. Hello, Andre. Tell me. I I only listen, teacher. Because you don't I'm listen. Busy. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. You're you're busy. Okay. I understand. No problem, my friend. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and let's listen to the others because they are coming from the breakout rooms. So, maybe if you want to participate, we have eight exercises. Tenemos ocho ejercicios acá. Eight, eight exercises. So, Guillermo, you want to complete one. You tell me. Yes, the second one. Okay. In, in able to. Able to. Okay. Uh, she isn't able to cook. Okay. And I am not able to cook. It's an able to cook. Thank you. And the other, I am not, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, who else? And I am not able to cook. Okay. And maybe you are ready. Well. Uh, maybe we can have this time Luisa. Are you ready with one? Okay, I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. he, he isn't able to ski. Uh, okay, he isn't it's able. That... To... Okay, uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. And the other one. Y la otra, I, uh, I am not able to skip. Okay. Thank you. Well, uh, maybe we can have now Maritza and then Eduardo. Maritza, could you the girl, mm -hmm. the girl? The girl isn't able to read in Spanish. Okay. Isn't able to. Okay, as a kilo I am able to read. Uh, what about the other? I am able to read. Okay, I am. Mm -hmm. In Spanish <laughs> and in English. <laughs> Thank you, Marita. <laughs> okay, Eduardo, and then we go with um, David. Okay, Tom isn't. Able to ride a horse. Okay. Ride a horse. Okay. And what about the the last one? I the last one. I am not able to ride a horse. Thank you. Okay. Maybe we can have uh, David, and after David, we can have Gustavo. Okay, teacher, and uh, allowed to, okay. Please. Uh, we are allowed to vote in election. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the, the other one? 
I, uh, I, I am a lower to vote in election. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, Gustavo, please. And after Gustavo, we're going to listen Daniel. Okay. Uh, Sam is a lawyer, a lawyer to... Mm -hmm. To leave the school. Mm -hmm. To oh. leave the school. Okay. And what about the other? I... I, I am mm -hmm. a lawyer to leave school. The school. the school. I am allowed to do it. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to Daniel. And after Daniel, we're going to listen to Rosalie. If she's available. Okay. Um, they they are they aren't allowed to drink alcohol in foods. Okay. And I am allowed to drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you, yes, you are allowed. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if uh, Rosalie is available. I uh, don't know if you're there, Rosalie. Okay. If not, uh, we can listen this time to Luisa already participated. Okay, Oscar, Daniel, can you participate with the last one? Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, Oscar, right? He can smoke. Okay. Uh, he isn't. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 To a smoke. To mm -hmm. a smoke. Yeah. He's saying hello to smoke. Thank you. I. Uh, I allow to a smoke. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm, allow to smoke. I am allow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Oscar. Okay, if you notice uh, able for ability and allowed for permission, uh, both have uh, like common uh, words, for example, verb. Uh, B, am, E, is, are, or also the negative. Thank you, my friends, for helping me to complete this. And we go with the last part. Vamos a la siguiente parte, que es la última. Okay. Talk about your parents. You can talk about what? You can talk about uh, 25 seconds, maybe 20 or 25 seconds, and we finish. Okay. Try to explain about what, uh, how are your parents, your person, their personality, physical appearance, if they live in the countryside, in the in the in downtown, if uh, they are alive, if, yeah. Try to describe your parent. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Doy un par de segundos para que eh, eh, tengan claras las ideas y ya comenzamos
Okay, the last participations. In this case, maybe we can start with uh, Maritza and then Guillermo. It's not necessary to talk about a lot or more than one minute, two minutes, three minutes. No, a couple of seconds. You can describe your partner or talk about something that you like. Please, Maritza, can you? Uh, start? Mm -hmm. My mom is short and skinny, and my dad is tall and hungry. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Something else that you want to talk about your parents? Maybe they, how old are they? Or I don't know, an ability that they have? Repeat, teacher, please. Uh, maybe the age. Uh, my mother is 60 years old. My father is, I don't know. Oh. Or if they can do something. Si tienen habilidades, if they have abilities or skills. My mother is. Fifteen four years old. My yeah. father is fifteen five years old. Okay. One one year older. Okay. Well, thank you, Maritza. Thank you for sharing. We go with Guillermo and then we go with Eduardo. Please, okay, teacher. Um, well, my mother's name is Adela. She is 58 years old. She lives in, here in Santa Tecla City. She, she's a really hardworking person. Um, also, she likes uh, to eat pizza. And what else? Um, she loves to go to the cinema and go to the beach with me. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. That, and that's just, yeah. That. Okay. That's interesting. That's a very specific uh, information. Thank you, uh, Guillermo. Let's listen to Eduardo and then Daniel. Please. Okay. I talk about my wife. Uh, his name, her name is uh, Luria Morena, she have 38 old and she lives here with me in Nuevo Cuscatlán. We have 13 years to get married and we have two children. She's uh, able to, to cook. She's a good, a uh, good, uh, how would you say cocinera? Cook. Mm -hmm. a cook is cook. a verb that means cocinera or chef. Cook. Okay. Or... Okay. okay. She's a good cook and that's it about she. Okay. Very nice. Very interesting. Thank you, Eduardo, for talking about your wife. And we go with Daniel and then we go with um, Gustavo. Okay. My, my mother is is Anna. I don't know what year is have, but they but my father is mayor. Older. Uh huh. She's my older. Is older three years. Okay. And they have a uh, three children, including me, and they live in together three blocks from me, from my house. Very nice. And, um, I don't know what to say. Okay, yeah, that, that that's part of good information. Thank you, Daniel. We go with Gustavo, and then we go with Cristina. Okay, Gustavo, please. Okay, teacher, really. Uh, my mother is the most important person to me. Mm -hmm. She is a parent woman. Her name is Rosa Maria. My father, um, for to to Natalie passed away last year. Okay, that's year. So was a great man. Okay, thank you. 
Well, uh, I'm so sorry for your father, but good uh, characteristics of your mom. Thank you, Gustavo. Hey, Christy, I don't okay. know if you are there. Okay, you're welcome. No sé si está ahí, Christy. Okay. If Christy is not there, vamos con Evelyn. Evelyn, can you talk a little bit about your mother or father, please? Uh, my mother is Carmen Maravilla. She's 67. Um, she's loving him and the bed. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Evelyn. He's mm -hmm. the best that can exit in this world. Oh, yeah. that That's very nice when, when you love a lot your mom. Thank you, Evelyn. Nice words for describing my your father, mom. Okay. <laughs> my father did when he was teacher on. Oh, come on. Yes, he passed away. He died. You were very young. Okay, I'm so sorry. But you have a very excellent mother. Thank you, Evelyn. Okay, let's listen now to Oscar and then Luisa. Oscar, Daniel, are you ready to talk about your parents? Okay, teacher. Uh, my parents are, are living down in downtown of Cotepeque. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my my mother my mother is fifty fifty four years old and she she have uh, she has she has a typical food business Mm, excellent. And my father is fifty-four years old, and he is work in construction. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Oscar. Very nice. Very interesting. Your mother has a business. Perfect. A working woman. Thank you. We go with Luisa now, and we finish with David. Okay, Luisa, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, my mother uh, is a housewife. Um, she has uh, 63 years old. I was uh, born in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. uh, and she came to live in San Salvador and she and uh, meet my father and uh, my father she was in San Miguel they had four children and okay. my father passed uh, always in October 2021 okay thank you for, for the information I'm so sorry for your father Lisa and very nice very interesting we finish with David Emanuel, please, David. Okay, teacher, uh, my parents uh, did a good job with with me and my brother and sister. Okay. My father did five years ago from her season. We all take care of my mother. She is 55 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm so sorry for your father, but very nice. You take uh, took advantage of, of the time, right? So thank you for sharing uh, that information, David. Uh, okay, my friends, uh, we're going to take the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening, if you listen to your name, and then we finish, okay? Uh, Adi Beatriz Reyes, I don't know if she's here. Uh, Christy, yes, right, Christy? Okay. Luisa, yes, right, Luisa? Okay. Maybe Andre is like 
Well, not available. Rivas, not here. Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Yes, teacher. Hi, teacher. Okay, here. thank you, Dre. Thank you, Daniel. Very nice. Daniel, could uh, you... Contigo no hemos tenido la sesión uno a uno, ¿verdad, Daniel? O oh, sí. No, ¿verdad? Solo te quedas un par de minutos después de la clase. Please. Thank you. Okay, David. Hi. Yes, teacher. Thank you, my friend. Evelyn. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Guillermo. Present teacher. Perfect. Uh, John, not available. Katia, no. Maritza. Present. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Katia. Okay, thank you, Maritza. Gustavo. Hi. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you. Uh, Oscar Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo. Present. Perfect. And here we have also Rosalie. And Susie, que okay, está un poquito ocupada. Okay. So, my friends, see you tomorrow. Recuerden que, sí, André, ya, ya te coloqué aquí la asistencia. Okay. Recuerden que el día de mañana estamos terminando la unidad número 2. Y quiere decir que es importante haber terminado todas las tareas de la unidad 2. Aparte de eso, el midterm. Recuerden, el examen de medio curso, terminenlo. ¿Verdad? Pueden hacerlo mañana, anoche, si gustan, para ya comenzar la unidad. Okay. Nos vemos para mañana entonces. Solo me quedo con Daniel. Have a good night. Pasen buenas noches. Bye bye. Good night. Oh, nice. Bye, teacher. Bye. Okay, Daniel. Um, ¿Cómo vas con la plataforma? No te escucho, Daniel. Hi. Ah, espera. No, le decía que todavía no he terminado las tareas de este módulo, pero ya las voy a, ya me voy a poner al día mañana o ahora en estos momentos para oh. terminar con el módulo 2. Ok, excelente. Uh, me parece que estás, bueno, eh, estás este, participando bastante. Eh, siento que tus ideas están más fluidas, ¿verdad? Más que el módulo pasado y eso me alegra bastante. Me alegra bastante estar sí. más <ríe> Uh -huh. un poco. Has notado un poco el avance, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, siento que es un poco más. Le entiendo un poco más. Bueno, ¿verdad? Que que... Ir poco a poco. ¿va? Sí, es adaptación. Uno, uno va adaptándose y, y entiende más. Eh, preguntas que se hacen, este, lecturas, conversaciones. Si te das cuenta también la, la, las cuestiones gramaticales, uno le va a entender un poco más. Entonces, eh, así como nosotros que hablamos de diferentes temas, creo que pues vas bastante bien, Daniel. No sé si tienes una duda o una consulta de lo que hemos sí. eh, No, con respecto a la clase ahora sí me quedó claro el uso del aviable y el del... Allow. El, allow. Oh, bye, sí, bye. sí me quedaron claros. Este, uno es para... Para decir que es como que no puede, va, algo así. Que puede o no puede, ajá, de habilitar, el able. Habilidad, y el otro, ah, y el otro es este, permitido. Permitido, para, ajá, si tienes permitido o no, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah, pues estamos bien. Eh, creo que ahí vas a encontrar ejercicios con respecto a eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso sería todo, Daniel, ¿verdad? Este, te felicito porque siempre estás pendiente, estás puntual. Estás participando. Ya vamos a la mitad del curso. Ya a partir de mañana vamos a la mitad del curso y ya. Ya vamos de bajada, ¿ok? Así que te felicito y ánimo. ¿Ok? okay. Muchas gracias. Bye, bye. bye, bye.